Hello, all good people. In today's video, we will talk about two main factors that determine 80% how long and how well you will live. A quality life means life without disease. If a person lives without illness, then accordingly he has nothing to die from. After all, any death occurs as a consequence of any disease. And it doesn't happen that a healthy person lives and then suddenly dies. And among the variety of different diets, supplements and drugs, only two factors that matter can be distinguished. Of course, someone might argue that it all depends on genes. Yes, it's clear we cannot influence our genetics yet. But it doesn't mean that we should sit idly by. After all, we have two powerful tools. And the first tool is to increase your own cardiovascular endurance. By cardiovascular endurance, we mean the maximum oxygen consumption. That is the maximum amount of oxygen that your body can process in one minute. This indicator is called VO2 max. VO2 max is a universal indicator that characterizes cardiovascular performance and it's measured in milliliters per minute per kilogram. The second factor you can easily work on is to monitor how much dietary fiber, that is, indigestible fiber, that make up the frame of plants you eat. The better your cardiovascular endurance and the more fiber you eat, the longer and better you will live. And now let's move on to the evidence for a claim that a good cardiovascular endurance results in a longer life expectancy and reduced risks of all-cause mortality. In the description of this video, I cite a study that has covered 122,000 people for over 10 years. It turned out that if you divide all people into five groups with very low stamina, low stamina, average stamina, high stamina, and the elite group which had the highest stamina, we see that the mortality risk difference is tremendous between the elite group and those with very low stamina. The chances of developing deaths from all causes differ exactly by factor of 5. This is a huge figure and it's repeated many times in other studies. But it's clear that few people are elite athletes like Olympic champions in running or skiing. But nevertheless, even when comparing groups with low stamina, that is simply untrained people with people who exercise and have high stamina, the difference in the risks of developing death from all causes is three times. And you can easily verify this. I am showing a graph from the above study where you can see how the chances of developing death are decreased depending on the endurance of a person. The next piece of evidence concerns fiber. Dietary fiber, as I said, is the frame of plant foods such as fruits, vegetables, legumes, lentils, mushrooms, nuts, cereals, grains, and so on. These fibers are plant polymers that our digestive system cannot process. Modern people consume less fiber than our ancestors who lived even 100 years ago. This is due to the fact that we now have a huge number of refined foods as well as some modifications in the products themselves. They say that the grain now contains less fiber and more starch and fruits and vegetables already modified. All this leads to the fact that we begin to consume less fiber. An average 16 grams per day, while you need 30 grams per day. And I am showing the next picture, a huge study, more than 100,000 people, and it's repeated many times. You see that the more fiber people consume, the less likely they are to develop death from all causes, picture on the left, from cardiovascular diseases, picture in the center, and chances of dying from cancer, picture on the right. The gray bars in the picture are the proportions of people who consume this or that amount of dietary fiber. And by the way, there are studies showing that every extra 10 grams of dietary fiber consumed leads to a 10% reduction in the risks of developing death from all causes. But this relationship is not linear. It doesn't mean that increasing dietary fiber intake to 100 grams per day leads to immortality. We are talking about situations when a person increases their fiber intake from 10 to 30 grams, for example. So now we have clear evidence that increasing cardiovascular endurance means significantly at times increasing your chances for a long and high quality life. The same pattern has the amount of dietary fiber consumed. So we can increase our chances for a long life both by developing endurance and by consuming fiber. And finally, a couple of practical tips how to evaluate your cardiovascular endurance and maximum oxygen consumption without a lab. It's very simple. There is 12-minute Cooper test. In 12 minutes, you are invited to cover as much distance as possible. It's better to do this in the stadium, on a flat surface. 
It doesn't matter whether you are walking at snail's pace or running very fast. Measure the number of meters or kilometers you cover in 12 minutes, and then look at the table. Calculate your maximum oxygen consumption and see how fit you are compared to people of your age and gender. And you will immediately understand whether you need to work on this issue or not. And as far as estimating dietary fiber intake, you can enter the amount of food you eat into the nutrition calculator. There are plenty of them on the internet. In this way, you'll be able to assess your current state. That's it. Thank you for your attention. By all.